Despite the fact that no planet with the same environmental complexity and capabilities as Earth has yet been discovered, we have discovered a couple that may be close enough. Mars, for example, holds the resemblance of a once lush and green planet with a massive ocean. Now it's mostly desert and rock with some ice caps. But while most planets seem too old for us to inhabit, as is the case with Mars, Titan may be the first we've discovered that is too young. Recently, with the help of the James Webb Telescope, scientists have made a terrifying discovery on Titan. What is this new discovery? How does it affect our lives here on Earth? For a long time, we have had the desire to colonize space. All the main science fiction films are about humans going on expeditions. We may be a long way from reaching that degree of space travel, but we have always assumed, or at least thought, that Mars would be the starting point for our study of the universe. Titan, the moon of Saturn, is an as good if not better choice for colonization than Mars, which is often the first planet that springs to mind. Recently, we discovered something quite odd in the orange clouds hovering over Titan. This terrifying new discovery has even made NASA plan a brand new expedition with the objective of looking into this enigma. Despite being 759,000 miles distant from its mother planet Saturn, this large moon remains tidally bound to it. By lunar standards, it's around 1,600 miles across, which is a pretty big area. Every 15 days and 22 hours, Titan completes a full orbit around Saturn. And it takes 29 Earth years for it to complete an orbit around the Sun. It also contains an atmosphere, which is an extremely unusual trait. Titan's atmosphere is four times as thick as Earth's, but it also has a 60% higher atmospheric pressure. Only four of the 150 moons in our solar system have atmospheres, and Titan is one of them. Titan, as you may know, is the biggest moon that belongs to Saturn and the second largest moon in our solar system. Except for planet Earth, Titan is also the only location in the solar system with liquids on its surface. Other than the fact that it rains frozen liquid methane and ethane, it's where the cycle is quite similar to ours. Titan may be the finest planet for human settlement because of how much it resembles Earth. In reality, Titan has a good enough environment for us to set up a long-term, self-sufficient human colony there. It would seem as if you were swimming 50 feet underwater due to the air pressure there. Although it may seem terrifying, this wouldn't require people to roam about in heavy pressurized suits on the surface. And the dense atmosphere would prevent lethal radiation from the sun or space from reaching us. Simply put, it indicates that it is a secure location for people. Titan's low gravity, which is just 14% that of Earth, would allow its inhabitants to travel long distances by bouncing. You could even make your flying fantasy come true by attaching some feathers and wings to yourself. It sounds like a utopia, no? Actually, no. Titan is very, very cold. For example, the Moon, which is 886 million miles from the Sun and has the surface temperature of minus 290 degrees, is very, very cold. While a pressurized suit would not be necessary, you would still need to be very well bundled. You would get roughly as much warmth from whatever sunshine did reach you as that from an earthly sunset. In addition to all that, breathing would need a respirator because without it, your lungs would immediately freeze. Now that we've gotten everything out of the way, what was the horrifying finding that made Titan the subject of investigation? Well, a group of researchers discovered a substance known as cyclopropeneldyne, or C3H2. This chemical has never been seen in space, so finding it in the atmosphere of Titan is a big deal. It was found using the Atacama Large Millimeter Array technology. The 66 radio antennas that make up ALMA combine to form a single enormous telescope. When ALMA uses interferometry, all of the antennas are pointed in the same direction in the sky. The antennas work together to pick up a signal from the space target, and a supercomputer uses the combined radio waves to figure out what the data means. This is a difficult achievement that allows researchers to collect pictures with exceedingly high accuracy. There can be just one millionth of a second mistake in the synchronization of all antennas. The odd organic molecule C3H2, which can only be seen in a lab, was discovered by researchers using this amazing technique. C3H2 was first found in the gas and dust clouds of the Milky Way, such as the Taurus molecular cloud. 
In the same way that organic molecules make life possible on Earth 3.5 billion years ago, they might do the same on Titan. NASA says that even though C3H2 is not known to be involved in any biological processes, the fact that something is making an unstable chemical could be a sign of life. If life exists on Titan, it would be quite unlike the water-based life forms that we're familiar with. As a result, NASA is interested in learning more about the Moon after making this recent finding on Titan. The Dragonfly mission, slated to launch in 2027, was announced by NASA in 2019. Nine years would pass after launch before it reached Titan and arrived in 2036. The trip is expected to cost an astounding $1 billion, mostly because of this unusually designed spacecraft called Dragonfly. The term Dragonfly comes from the fact that it resembles a big quadcopter drone and has two rotors on each of the four corners of the spaceship. It must travel to many locations for research until it ultimately reaches Titan in the year 2036. Contrary to other probes NASA has built in the past, this one will fly around the Moon instead of patrolling the surface to take advantage of the Moon's low gravity. The Dragonfly will run on the heat from the decaying plutonium-238 battery, which will be turned into power by a radioisotope thermoelectric generator. This will be the first time NASA launches a multi-rotated spacecraft for research. Because of its nuclear battery, Dragonflies may potentially run on Titan for a very long time. It can always be moved to keep Dragonfly on the side of the planet that is closest to Earth for the best communication, which already takes about 70 to 90 minutes each way because of how mobile it is. The Dragonfly will benefit from the deep atmosphere, which shields it from harmful rays and radiations and allows it to travel freely to a variety of sites over the course of its 2.7-year mission. Its goal is to collect and analyze surface material for use in chemical experiments and to figure out if the planet would be a good place for people to live in the future. Titan has all the ingredients for life, so Dragonfly will also look at how far pre-life chemistry has come to learn more about how life started on Earth. This Titan expedition could provide us with a conclusive explanation for how life originated from organic molecules. The findings made on Titan have the potential to be groundbreaking and even may alter our understanding of life itself. Now all that's left to do is finish building the spaceship and get ready for anything. Titan will provide us with more information about the Moon than we previously knew, even if we don't locate what we're seeking there. Right, so that's what science says. We scientists are attempting to fill a large black and white book with all of the solutions. Who knows, maybe we'll begin a chapter on the science of extraterrestrial life shortly. Well, that's it for this video, and we will see you soon in the next one.